Tuesday will be the sixth anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. A man who survived the attacks, William Rodriguez, talks about that day. My name is Julia Jecker, and I am the producer and the publicist of tonight's event. Good Karma PR was started two years ago in order to promote the works of people trying to affect change. We are professionals, scholars, engineers, scientists, counselors, pilots, ex-military journalists, writers, and many others from all walks of life. This 9-11 Truth Movement can be found in every major city in the United States and around the world. As we approach the sixth year anniversary, we, the people, demand a new independent investigation into the events of September 11th. We remind everyone here tonight, for the sake of the victims and the nation, that it is our responsibility as citizens of this country to find out what really happened on September 11th. The truth will not be silenced. From 9-11 Truth activist and supporter, KPFK's own Christine Blasdale. I am Christine Blasdale, senior producer at KPFK Radio, heard at 90.7 FM Los Angeles, 98.7 FM to our dear friends in Santa Barbara, and globally at kpfk.org. We need to educate others on the dangers of this global war of terror that is being unleashed in the name of those 3,000 plus people who perished on that day at the Trade Towers and at the Pentagon. Uh, I'd like to now introduce our special guest speaker. He has consistently, consistently served and committed himself to both human and animal rights, world peace, environmental preservation, and political freedom. We know him best as Lou Grant. I personally can't help but think of him as the voice of God. It was a role he shared with Ellen Burstyn in the audio tape versions of Conversations with God. Probably you haven't heard it, but it's awesome. And I've got to say, Ed, if there, if there really is a God out there, I hope he's a lot like you. <laughs> kind of scary at first, but then when you get to know him, you don't want to leave his side. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a dear friend at KPFK and a dear friend of mine, Mr. Ed Asner. Thank you, thank you, and good evening to you all. Uh, I think it is difficult to say that uh, in any other country, Willie Rodriguez coming to speak, the sanctuary would be jammed to the rafters to hear this this man we can call a witness, a witness to truth. And the fact that America does not provide him with the rafter-clinging crowds is symptomatic of what our country is like these days. I came to understand the huge importance and I don't know where it first originated, what great philosopher coined it, but I, of course, came aware of it during the Vietnam War, the marvelous bumper sticker, Question Authority. And authority was partially questioned at that time, and it helped change the course of that war, 
natural course of our government, and the people felt, in many respects, a greater strength than they had felt since World War II. There was divisiveness. The one chink in the army was that we didn't respect our troops. So the enemy this time, to those who would deny this war, have come about with nothing but support the troops. If you don't support the troops, then you're a traitor. Well, I think most of us here would be very happy to support the troops by bringing them home. What greater support could we give than maintaining and uh, sustaining human life in our troops? Uh, and so we must fight for that. We must fight for the symbol of the orange. And we must fight for the unbelievable ineffectuality of the American people in attempting to listen to the truth, an unbelievably shy people. I can't tell you the number of people I have been in the company of, scientists, learned gentlemen and ladies, uh, an attempt to open. And I openly say I'm a conspiracy buff, at least as far as 9-11 goes. I believe in it fervently and with all my heart. And I said, if we have time, I will be glad to present the facts as I, as I know them. And those facts have never been refuted. And if they have been refuted, the counter arguments were never allowed to surface and be heard. And when I present these arguments to people I know and respect, whose intelligences I respect, they get that, that stare on their face. Oh, and sting music starts to play behind, woo, 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 woo. Gotta get out of here. Here's another nutcase. Now, now it's emblematic of how blind our people are to the extent that 50% still believe in, 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 dar in, uh, in creationism. The uh, vast majority, uh, uh, we are so, be so far behind the rest of the Western world in progressive attitudes towards life, the living, towards mankind. And that same blindness affects us on the truth for 9-11. And that's why I am so damn glad to be here tonight, to thank you all for coming to this important event, to rip the scales off your eyes and to hear yet another truth speaker named Willie Rodriguez.